Hi, and welcome to our Pit Stop segment. Today we'll be speaking with Mr. Johnson from Jagas, who will be telling us all about the air filter and also teaching us how to change the air filter. So Mr. Johnson, hi, how are you? I'm okay. Thanks for having us, always a pleasure. Likewise. So the air filter, tell me, why is it important to have an air filter in your vehicle? There are dust and dirt in the natural environment. Mm -hmm. and in order to prevent this dust and dirt from getting into your engine and damaging your engine, you need an air filter to remove those foreign matters okay. oh. from the air. Okay, so tell me, I mean, are there any signs or symptoms that the vehicle will give off to let you know that your air filter needs to be changed? I mean, what, you know, how would you know then? If black smoke is emitting from the tailpipe, oh. the first thing you should check is your air filter to find out if oh. it is dirty or if it is black. Wow, and I see that very often on the road. I mean, is it that some vehicles can operate without it, or is it that people just don't change it when it gets bad? Modern, modern vehicle mm -hmm. must use an air filter. Okay. In addition to that, without an air filter, as what I said earlier, dust and other particles might go down in your engine and damage your engine, foul the spark plug, damage valve seat, etc. Wow, that's a lot of yes. damage. All right, so to change it, to be honest, I don't know where the air filter is in the vehicle, so you're going to have to show me that. Um, and then we can move on to changing it. Yes. Despite the type of vehicle, whether it's a gas or a diesel, mm -hmm. all vehicles carry an air filter. Okay. And when you fly your bonnet, mm -hmm. this pipe right here, right. its name is actually an air duct. Right. So anywhere the air duct is, you will change it, you will follow it. And when you trace it, you'll find the air filter housing. And the air filter housing is this black thing right here. And within this housing, there's an air filter. Oh. So just pull these things here? Yes, pull those clips. Be good. There are two around there. Then you gradually ease up the housing top. Okay, and you turn. And turn it. Good. And there is your air filter. Oh, this thing? Yes. Oh, wow. Wow, this is very dirty though. Yes, extremely dirty. Ooh. Without this air filter, mm -hmm. those are all the muck and junk that will get down in your engine. Don't tell me this used to be white. Yes, it used to be no, white. No, that is a lot of dirt. So as you can see, this needs to be changed. Okay, so what do we do? I mean, clean it or toss it or what? That needs to be discarded and you get a new one. Okay, but before we actually get into changing it, tell me something. Is it that there are specific air filters for specific vehicles? You know, when you go to the part shop, would you have to say, okay, you know, I'm coming to buy an air filter for this vehicle or that model vehicle? Yeah, you'd have to give them the give name them and the year of the vehicle. Okay, all right, all right. But so. before you clean, put in, replace the air cleaner, Use piece of cloth and clean out the air ducts and yeah, any dust it's and very dirt. dirty. Yes. All right, good. So let's get our tools then. All right. Is this good enough? Yes, that's good enough. Okay. All right. So we're going to be putting in this new one, now, right? Yes. All right. All right, that's it. Is it? Is that everything? Yes, excellent. You have done a wonderful job. All right, good. I feel good. So yes. not bad at all. So this we can just get rid of now because yes. we really don't need this anymore. So we just toss it somewhere. Yeah, it can always be discarded. Good. Thanks again, Mr. Johnson. Once again, great information here on our pit stop segment. And just a quick recap of the air filter. What you need to do for those of us who don't know where to find the air filter, all you need to do is to follow the air duct in the vehicle. And every vehicle will have their own air duct. You follow it, it will take you to the air filter housing. All you need to do, remove the clips, get rid of the old filter and put in the new one. Put the housing back on, close the clips, and that's it. Great information as usual. Watch out for black smoke coming from your car because this might be an indication that you may need to change the air filter. Make sure you change it. Don't want any problems with the engine, right? Once again, thanks for joining us here on our pit stop segment. Stay tuned for our next segment.